good morning friends in this lecture i am going to discuss two definition students first one is scalar point function and second one is vector point function these two definitions are very very important students because the further topics they define based on these two definition students so these two definitions are very very important let us see the definition students first one students scalar point function what students scalar point function right let s be a domain in space okay students take a uh, three dimensional students x axis y axis and z axis say there take a domain say domain this is domain s students domain s if to each point p of x y z belongs to s see students i'm taking a point p of x y z which is belongs to students s which is belongs to s they corresponds a unique real number what students they corresponds to a unique real number say phi say phi this phi of x comma y comma z is called scalar point function what students scalar point function over the domain yes over the domain yes for example if i am taking here phi of x comma y comma z that is equal to x y z students x y z say take any point say 1 1 1 students 1 1 1 and the space say, take any point students so we get here students phi of 1 comma 1 comma 1 students we get here 1 into 1 into 1 students we get 1 value is 1 okay if i'm taking here the point is p is say 1 2 3 1 2 3 so we get here students phi of 1 2 3 that is equal we get here 1 into 2 into 3 we get here 6 students now see students here we get 1 on 6 what he says if to each point say each point say 1 comma 1 comma 1 or 1 comma 2 comma 3 we get the corresponding say unique real number so students we get a unique real number unique real number see students we it is a quantity it is a quantity it is magnitude students there is no direction there is no direction so it is called scalar point function or students scalar point function we can we can observe in real life also students suppose the room temperature okay students say room temperature room room temperature room temperature generally at a point say 30 degree centigrade or another point is say 32 degree centigrade okay students see these are the examples of scalar point function scalar point function once again students let us be a domain in space if to each point p there there corresponds a unique real number unique real number say it is phi students this phi is called scalar point function what are the example students say phi of x comma y comma z is equal to x y z it is a magnitude there is no direction so so phi is called students scalar point function scalar point function now next definition students vector point function what students vector point function now you can guess the definition students previously we have unique real number this time students unique come on guess is a vector vector let us see the definition students let s be a domain in space in space say so, this is space students x y z there is a domain students say s if to each point p of x y z belongs to s there is a point p of x comma y comma z there corresponds a unique vector or students there is a unique vector say f bar of x y z this f bar of x y z is called vector point function over the domain 
yes over the domain yes students for example f bar of x y z that is equal to x y i plus y z j plus x z k or we can that is up to you students we can take x i plus y j plus z k that is up to you students now this is vector point function students now if each point p of x y say take a point students p of uh, 1 comma 1 comma 1 so this f bar of x comma y comma z becomes students 1 i plus j plus k bar similarly if i am taking another point say 1 2 3 which is belongs to say s so this becomes students x y z f bar of x y z that is equal to x y 1 into 2 2 i plus y z 2 into 3 6 j plus x z x z means 3 into 1 so we get 3 k bar now that means if to each point they correspond a unique vector so this f bar of x y z is called vector point function vector point function this is about scalar point function and vector point function okay students please subscribe this channel like this video share this video students hope you understand thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind